What's up, everyone? Arctic here, bringing you the 25th, yes, 25th episode of the Gears of War 3 beta series. I am fresh off of the heels of MLG Raleigh, where we got to play some Gears of War 3, and I'm here with my main man, Skyless. What's up? I was at home. <laughs> <laughs> he was chilling, watching the stream. Uh, we playing at, Gears 2. Yeah. Yeah. That was sad to come back and watch him playing Gears 2 after I got to play that loveliness that is Gears 3. Uh, we're on the map Trenches, uh, and we're following Skyless's uh, POV. One of the reasons that I picked this map is kind of to talk about the changes for each map, and having played them firsthand and uh, played pretty much all the maps that are on the game, I must say that uh, Trenches is by far one of the best changes I've ever seen um, from beta to final build release. Like It's just a completely different game and a completely different experience. I have multiple videos talking trash about trenches, so... Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. It was really bad, actually. <laughs> Especially for TDM. Yeah, so uh, the big the big changes were uh, on the bottom of the nest, or the bottom of the map, there's now uh, an area called the cave. Uh, it's actually below the nest. Um, and Skyless is moving up towards that area right now. So in that center where that box is, right in front of him, he's aiming up there, that box that's right towards the middle area uh, has a hole that goes down into the nest and you actually spawn in two different spots uh, where boom shield used to be right down there yeah right down that pathway right where the boom shield is is where you spawn and uh, off to the left or right depending on which way you're facing uh, that also has an entrance down into the cave so you can actually see across the other spawn then right from the get go right uh, looking across the windows I guess if you ran out and went to the sandbag, you could look straight at the other spawn, yeah. So from sandbag to sandbag, yeah, you could see them spawn on the respawn. That's something to think about. And then the old spawns are actually tunnels also into the cave, correct? Correct, that's correct. So uh, um, generally, like, uh, I mean, we watched TDM at, at the event. Generally, there wasn't any instance of spawn camp, and it was just map control was yeah. really hard to uh, push. It slowed down a bit areas. though. It did. His team started setting up and just sitting there. It did. I think that comes down to the power weapons on the map. But. Right. And that, I mean, they were up there by Mulcher um, and, well, Mulcher and one shot um, uh, for the second and third round. So it really slowed down after uh, Insane saw how Team Epic was playing. So teams could run around the map at least and they weren't just trapped in their spawn. Right. So, I mean, what we saw with the Insanes was that they played up high. Well, Team F first did it. They had two guys up, three guys up high. One guy kind of roaming around um, by the crane with the hammer burst. So he was looking across map for anyone that was coming out of spawn and running up towards him. He just got dominated right there by the sawed off. Yeah, I hate that guy. Which is trash. Yeah, it was a trade, which is even more frustrating. Well, the good thing to know is that they actually uh, made some changes to the sawed off. I don't got. I don't know if you guys actually heard the stream or tuned in. But uh, I did a QA session during the stream with uh, one of the designers, uh, Quindell Hoyo, um, and he explained a lot of weapon balance changes to me during the stream, after the stream, before the stream, so I know a lot about the game right now. But uh, the Salt Off doesn't do the whole downing thing anymore, which was probably one of the biggest things I thought was annoying about the gun. Yeah, it was really frustrating, especially when you think that you got a good clean shotgun shot off at from range and he just downs you. Yeah, so... That has been fixed. Uh, that's confirmed by Epic staff, so you will not see that um, unless you are heavily damaged by another weapon. So he, the Quinn, basically said, if you were damaged uh, and you had enough damage to put you down, then that's the salt off will put you down in that regard. But you wouldn't just get one shot down. So it's good to know. Uh, some of the other changes to the map uh, weapons. Uh, in regards to, you see Skyless is just ripping people up with the Lancer right now. <laughs> but uh, the Retro Lancer, uh, that huge, I guess, beta complaint weapon, probably the Retro. Uh, the hip fire is no longer accurate. Uh, I played with it on the map Hotel, and I tore up, uh, I, was, I mean, it's still pretty strong. I tore up uh, Epic and a few of the Insanes on that map, but... Uh, it's, it's really a lot more balanced. You have to kind of um, fire it like you do a hammer burst, but you have to keep it under control because if you try to tap it too fast, the recoil on it will kick. So you're constantly fighting the uh, recoil 
on the retro lancer but uh it's it's really strong so if you connect with your shots people are still going to go down pretty fast yeah how about the lancer it looked really strong during the gameplay between insanes and epic uh the lancer was well really strong <laughs> yeah the lancer was really strong i mean it's it's pretty strong now so basically what uh what we're gonna see with the lancer is uh i think we'll see a lot more use with it but uh basically they increased or i don't know if they increased the headshot damage but the headshot damage on a lancer is a 1.5 damage modifier so if you're connecting shots with uh, a lancer in the head you're gonna do a lot of damage of course, it's also a spray weapon, so it's kind of so it does it consistently on the head. Right. Um, but the the thing is, you get that large clip, so you know I wouldn't be surprised if maybe down the line we see a lancer nerf. Uh, hopefully, I mean at least where they re maybe reduce the clip. I mean, not necessarily a nerf to the actual damage, but reducing the clip might actually be beneficial to the gun. Uh, what? Two hundred bullets? It's too much. No, I'm talking about the flip 50 shots. I think it's actually close to 100. Is it 50? Might yeah, 50. yeah, 50. Yeah. So I think you know, that might be balanced. Like 12 seconds of fire. Yeah. So that I mean that would be a little bit better for the <laughs> for the game. You have 13 downs with it. So I noticed the hammer burst also got changed. Uh, the reload is what stuck out during the gameplay as far as yeah. how the active works. So the reload from the beta to the game they actually moved the active. Um, timer back so it's actually it takes longer to get an active reload and then they nerfed some of the damage so the hammer burst actually does less damage with an active than it did um i actually think that's good i mean i thought it was too strong during the beta yeah that and the retro were way ahead of the lancer so it sounds like everything's more in line now yeah i mean i'm very very happy with a lot of the changes that they made uh really listening to the community feedback on it and making it as balanced as possible and it's not like you know you get a lot of people that kind of complain because their weapon is changed but i think those people don't really look at it from a balance standpoint they look at it as like they why think isn't my gun fun. doing so why good? isn't my gun better <laughs> but it's you got to think about how it works and and colin skylis and i work in the gaming industry and we do a lot of things with um balance and because we're in QA I mean we do a lot of things with balance so you have to understand from a consumer standpoint that uh, people want to have fun and they don't want people abusing certain weapons and those weapons were abusive yeah so I'm looking forward to the first couple months especially in the competitive scene of seeing which guns get used the most and I hope that everyone gives them a chance we'll see how it goes yeah hopefully they do I mean I talked to a few guys at MLG uh, Raleigh and they seem pretty enthusiastic about try trying some new things look at you going to mortar what are, what are you yeah, doing I should probably never pick up the mortar I actually picked it up in gears 2 fired it for the first time maybe ever I don't know if I ever fired it when we played and I killed myself the other day That's pretty so cool. I'm retiring myself from firing a mortar are in you talking about the game. one when you shot the ceiling and yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, but I want to end this, guys, because we're wrapping up here with uh, some details on the map. So my favorite maps uh, from the beta, Dry Docks, Hotel. Um, oof. He's on fire. Yeah. Yeah, tore up. Dry Docks, <laughs> Hotel. Um, obviously, all the beta maps are really good now. So that's another four maps. Um as far as competitive play goes, I mean, Sandbar is absolutely gorgeous, but it is really big. So it's not going to be a competitive map, maybe a Horde map. Yeah, that's nice. And it looks pretty. Yeah, it's nice that the Horde guys get a... Yeah, Horde, I mean... Get a good map for if you If you like Horde, you're going to love Sandbar. Yeah, that's... that's just, they're just going to be coming from everywhere. You're not going to know how to react. That's good for them. Yeah. Yeah, good for Horde guys. <laughs> so that's a good map. Um... Overpass was interesting. It's not. I don't particularly care for it in TDM, but uh, King of the Hill was pretty fun. I, I really like that map. And then uh, how the landscape changes with the map actually sinking is also really cool. You guys are having a lot of trouble ending this. Yeah, I think it was like three to four. It was four. It was like three on nine. And now we're trying to finish it. And <laughs> there's Still, these traps. There you go. Sometimes you have to do everything yourself. So I mean, yeah, guys. If you have any questions about the uh, maps. 
Uh, I can give some pretty general answers and you finish that off with a nice shotgun kill. Boom, shotgun uh, so uh, leave your questions down in the comment section, guys. I'll try to answer them about the uh, maps. The game is <laughs> fantastic. And uh, Skyless goes huge with 14 kills and 15 downs. So uh, episode number 25, guys. Peace. Peace. From downtown.